stupid. Right. Yeah. Right. Right. And a lot right. of people say a lot of like these scientists, <laughs> a lot of these scientists say that you will never need a. Why would you ever need a quantum computer in your house? They're they they're too large. They uh you know, not IBM but Google created their their quantum. They call it quantum supremacy. Yeah, and yeah, the, yeah, yeah. How they're they like got the to first, this, right? Exactly. How they yeah. got to this quantum supremacy is mm -hmm. they took uh, one of the largest uh, supercomputers in the world, one of the yeah. most powerful ones, and they gave it an algorithm to decipher it. Uh, yeah. And then they gave it to the, 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 the quantum uh, computer that had 64 qubits, right? These are frozen. They've got 64 a negative, qubits already. 64 qubits. And what they figured out was that the machine was able to solve the algorithm problem in three minutes and some seconds and it would have taken the other computer i think like a hundred thousand years yeah that's that's to... that's so it's th that's that's when right yeah anything can really happen yeah when you know do you understand when like it starts getting into that space right and, Bro, and, and, and any computer in the world can be Finesse. <laughs> Malik, Malik Berry, Blackberry. Blackberry <laughs> used to be the largest company in the world. I know, right? Apple? We ain't, we ain't worried about no iPhone. Ain't nobody going to buy it. Uh, Steve, Job, Steve Jobs went to Bob Iger, who was the former, uh, I don't know, I don't think he is anymore, but it's former head of Disney. Steve former Jobs the go. He went to Bob Iger, told him about the iPhone. Bob Iger said, I'm going to set up a meeting with somebody from Verizon for you to yeah. go. Steve Jobs goes in on some pitching, goes in and yeah. explains that the iPhone, da, 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 da. and here's the thing, everybody th was thinking about the price points, they weren't thinking about the innovation. Right. Apple, at that time, it's the, it's the child-like innovations, bro. Do you know how we arrived? Childlike, childlike. Do you know how we, we came at the slide <laughs> to unlock? Everybody in this slide remembers the iPhone back when it was slide to unlock, you remember? Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know yeah, how they came yeah, up with that? Yeah, yeah. How? My, 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 my friend, my, my friend, Fre Freddie Andrews, right? Yeah. He was an iOS developer. You know how okay, he came up with that idea? He was in an airplane, bro, chilling. I think he was on his way flying to Apple. Yeah. He yeah. goes to the restroom to go take a leak. You know the rest of the story, yeah? What? So, you know the bathroom doors have that slide to unlock? No. The slide to unlock on the bathroom doors in a, in a plane. He writes that down, goes back, and that's, that was the birth of slide to unlock on iPhone. There's documentaries on it. You can go check it out. That was Freddie Andrews. You know what I mean? those child child and like, that's like and that's and i see that that's and i see what you mentioned before in your life computation with the idea of um keeping nature involved keeping keeping what's real involved not not <laughs> not techno techno technology that isolates or techno te technology that's I gotta break um, my independent from huma humanity mind. and our livelihoods and what we have now technology just integrated that helps yep. do you understand that's Co a example coexistence and not replacement so i right. i was fast into that so i just need to break my fast um but coexistence okay over uh, coexistence over replacements. And that's the right, problem with right. the way that we build technology. We build things to yeah. replace that which is divinely perfect. Yeah, Bro, yeah. all right, look at an ant, right? Just one ant. Just let's measure. That's, we need to create these scales. Let's try and measure the computational uh, level of an ant. And let's think about if we were to take one ant, mm -hmm. and, um, let's just make that one ant a neural, neural let's make a neural network to be able to simulate that ant. Now I'm talking about the DNA of the ant, it's natural right. instincts, all right. of that within the neural network. Just imagine the carbon footprint that the servers would need to be operate just to simulate that one ant. And right. think about how much energy, the ants don't have, the, I, look, I'll study ants. When I look at ants, I don't see no battery pack on their back. Right, okay. for real. <laughs> And they're able to optimize at that yeah. high level of efficiency. So yeah. we're not even yeah. close, man. All these yeah. things that we think we're working on, uh, you know, in this, man, we're not even close. Nah, we're not awesome. even like uh, close to it. So, bro, man, like. Because shit, even, even, sense. even, like you just said, that's a neural network for one ant, right? To even understand, <laughs> like, <laughs> let's just say, because you, you need data, right? 
So you'd need data from like, let's just say a billion ants or a million ants, right? To be able to actually... Train the neural network, yeah. Yes. <laughs> yeah. So I mean, forget one words. ant. You can either t teach, uh, so there's different forms of training a neural network, right? Yeah. Uh, so there, you can do it through cognizance, you can right. do it through um, repetition, or you right. can feed it a data set and then it can learn from that. Yeah. Right? In the same way that a child, but how did it, you go look it up? You go look at Google, Google DeepMind. Yeah. Or uh, I, I, uh, I, I, I looked, I, I checked it out. Like DeepMind. Or TensorFlow. Yeah. yeah. Or TensorFlow. Yeah. I was working on this stuff like, man, five years ago. TensorFlow, DeepMind, IBM Watson, all these people, they have the same version. They create these, they, they call them classes. You right. have so many different classifications of yeah. training a neural yeah. network. All of them will tell you that the one that's based on cognizance and the one that's based off of repetition and learning using a data set, they studied human, how does a baby learn? It watches, it burns its hand, it doesn't do it again. Everything right. is inspired by humanity. Yeah, yeah, Let's keep it real. Fact, so fact, it's so blasphemous fact, fact. when you're inspired by yeah. a creation that we don't even understand. Bro, they yeah. measured uh, the, uh, a brain uh, sample the size of an ant. I mean, sorry, um, a rat. They took a rat's brain the size of a, a sand, of sand, one sand particle. They found that it had over 100,000 neurons and could establish over 1 billion connections. We don't even understand our own brain, yet we create. And then we say we're creators, we're designers, we're whatever. What, what are we designing? All the things we designed are flawed. Facts. <laughs> you know what I mean? So, so crazy, Facts. bro. Like the, the blasphemy of even being able to create something that requires always needing to be connected to the yeah, internet yeah. requires always needing a battery pack yeah. is is uh is is destroying the environment even faster than spray, spraying uh uh, uh antitoxins in the air is because when machines in the servers they mm -hmm. they have a huge carbon footprint, footprint so they even yeah. do more damage than yeah. whatever it might be yeah so like all this stuff is happening bro and we just get up and we like nah we we uh we create or whatever we're at the infancy in all of this stuff and it would be it would help us so much more if we were like this is where we at this stuff has now helped us even understand even more that there are pieces that one will never understand but right. two there are pieces that we must simply respect but right. we don't say right. Right. we create neural exactly. network we create everything and yeah. we say oh this is another piece to solving the bigger puzzle right we everything for us is a game we yeah. want to yeah, we want to get to the next thing. Yeah, we want to we want to find the existence of consciousness. Ugh. Yeah, as yeah. somebody that's that that really, and I don't I don't I don't, I never come on this platform to talk about how much I can code or whatever it might be. I really understand right. languages and programming languages and how things work from right. a very right. binary. I love quant. I love quantum mechanics because of the zero one and everything else in between. Right, it's yeah. a spectrum. It's the, uh, it's the code, bro. Uh, <laughs> classical computing is linear. It's yeah, either a zero yeah, or one. Yeah, black yeah, and white. It's yeah, black and white. Yeah. Quantum is a spectrum. Yeah. Um, and I, that's why I really love that. But man, as I'm creating, as I'm developing, I look around and nobody is saying these things. Nobody's saying what we're saying. I don't see any programmers that are like, I know how to really, I understand code and blah, blah, blah. And you guys see the things that I post. But guess what? Mm -hmm. I was inspired by this. Yeah, and I was inspired yeah, by yeah. studying this. Yeah, and I was inspired yeah. by biomimicry. Yeah. And uh, it's proven in science that uh, neural networks are inspired by uh, by ants. Yeah, you know what I mean. And yeah. and the yeah. way that they yeah. network, neural yeah. networks, yeah. right? Yeah, yeah. And yeah. the synapses is in our brain. We want to understand our brain so much better. So I mean, we can we can we can do the neural links and we can do those things. But like for real, like bro, like there's so much unknown. But the beauty is there's so much to be known. Yes, but when you true. discover the known, you can't claim it for yourself. You're right. Only right. You know that's the thing. We right. we have this like whole like Christopher right. Columbus, we the discoverers, right, we the, right. Um, <laughs> Amerigo Vespucci, we the Yo, discoverers. don't kill me, bro. <laughs> we ain't no discoverers. We only rediscovering right. that which yeah, existed yeah, yeah, before yeah, us. Yeah, yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. The audacity. I discovered this. That's why, like, even in tech, I'm cool with it because I get it. But like, when people say I'm a founder. Right. What you found? What did you find? <laughs> what, what did you found? <laughs> hey, what you did find, though? What you did find? And I know they like use that. it from the perspective of, like, noun or verb or, like, a classification rather than literal. But yeah. still, it's like, what you found? Yeah. <laughs> what what did real. you find? For real. Because... <laughs> what did you actually find?
man these these there's 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 a there's a there's a lot um there's a there's a lot um <laughs> somebody said uh, we are operating on western idiots perception <laughs> jesus wow <laughs> crazy man wow <laughs> You know what's that? What's that cold line where he's like, "Ain't nothing new under the sun. Ain't nobody fucking with sun." Nah, like, new. that's really what it is. Nothing new Ain't under nothing the sun. New. Yeah, man, nothing new under the sun, bro. Like, <laughs> te te technology is like <laughs> te technology is what not what we see as tech. What we think is technology or what is technology, right? Yeah. Cool. Technology, te technology exists. This world is technology. We are technology. Our yeah. bodies. Are yeah. <laughs> Do you and they're and they're and they're higher highly efficient highly right efficient. so here's the thing right it's like all right i remember my favorite movie is iron man i probably know every single line in that movie one of the things i want to talk about you know yeah. there's a scene in which obadiah in the first iron man he goes up to he wants to replicate the arc reactor that's in tony's heart he goes to the scientist that would later make it yeah. uh, spider-man far from home and help mysterio but he's like sir we can't build it da -da -da. he's like Tony Stark built this in a in a cave, and you mean to tell me you can't build it? But then, in the ending of the movie, Tony is like flying in the sky, right? He's going to the top. That Obadiah is fighting him, and then he freezes. And then yeah. Tony goes, "How did you fix? Oh, how did you manage to fix the freezing problem?" He's like, "Freezing right. problem." And then he freezes. His whole body, uh, the the armor freezes. That's how I feel with the optimization of technologies that we create. Even yeah. if let's just go back to the app. Even if we create a neural network that can accurately simulate the behavior patterns of a ant right now let's talk about reproduction right. now let's talk about uh the 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 uh the neural network algorithm that will let an ant know that it's hungry or to right. prepare for the future right or to gather you know things for the next season right. it's too many but things let me ask that like does the ant know it's the ant what does the ant know it's the ant does does the ant know it's the ant? Well, here's the thing. Based off of, <laughs> uh, based off of, like again, even having Islamic faith, mm. like Islam teaches that animals are programmed. Right. It literally says that we live in a simulation. <laughs> I agree that we live in a simulation, but Bro. who's the programmer? That's what yeah. I'm saying. God yeah. is the programmer. He's yeah. the mainframe architect. He's the you want to learn yes. about like. IBM mainframes back in the days, God is yeah. the mainframe. Like he create, we do live in a simulation, but yeah, it, would be, right, it would completely make zero sense to say we live in a simulation that a lot of people say, and then say, there's no programmer. How do we live in a simulation? Right, what are we, right, what program right, the simulation? Right, right, right. So exactly. you just even proved, you just made my case yeah. for me by saying that yeah, we live yeah, in a simulation. Yeah, yeah. yeah. The, the world is not built on AI. <laughs> <laughs> Study the ads, bro. You read the Quran or the Bible. It says For real. both books, the Quran and uh, and and the Bible say, study the ants. Ants, look at these like these small ants that we step on. We don't even know. We'd be just walking on them. They know how to prepare. Wait, for is the your future. video paused? Oh you no, my see? fault. Oh, I can see now. They know how to prepare for the future, bro. Right, 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 right. You know, right. Like, hold on. I'm trying to find something in this chat. Yeah, but li literally, uh... yeah, man, and 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 you know, even even what you're saying about you know the simulation thing, and, you, know, like, you know, when you know when we say things like this, someone will take it and and think, oh my gosh, oh you said we're in a simulation. Like, listen, guys, you know, think context. So, <laughs> speaking contextually, please. So? Oh right? yeah, 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 yeah. For you those know, who uh... really really understand, who understand. Head of the blog, I just <laughs> <laughs> no, no, no. I mean, but like, it's it's important that people really understand the either we're looking at scriptures, whether whatever you choose to believe in, and we're taking it too literal, or we're taking it too metaphoric. Right. right. We don't we don't really know how to to to. <laughs> but again, it's does the ant know it's an ant? I absolutely believe that the ant knows that it's an ant, but only to its limitation of what it thinks that it is and what it mm. needs to do. And that's what, what do we call that? There's a word for that, that we love to use. When something has the instincts to do something in ways that it doesn't even know that it does, it's called DNA. Yeah. 
You know what I mean? Yeah. So within the ant's own genetic composition and genetic makeup, it only knows to be itself. It doesn't know why, but it does do its right. thing. Right. Right. That's the same way that I feel like people are. So, right. you know, right. somebody just said something fire. AI, ant intelligence. I, I saw that. I just saw that. No, that's crazy. That's Bro, actually ants, fire. That's ants, fire. <laughs> like, fleas can, uh, can jump 200 times their height. That would be the equivalent of a human being jumping over the Empire State Building. Eagles have, if we have 20-20 vision, they have 100 100 right. vision. Right. They can see an eagle. You put an eagle, you put a, if the eagle could read, if you put a paper in front of an eagle uh, the, the, across the sides of a football field, right. it would be able to read the fine print of every single one of those letters. Exactly. You know what I mean? Dolphins can communicate using ultrasonic. We, and we've barely only started using that. My friend Rodney Williams has a company uh, called Listener. And they started a company that uses they use ultrasonic uh, sound for authentication because the human ears cannot detect ultrasonic sound. Right. So they're using ultrasonic uh, frequencies for authentication. So you can like open your phone or authenticate. Like you know how like sometimes you log in on your computer and it says yeah. log in your phone. Yeah. They can do that with ultrasonics. We're right. barely starting to understand any of this stuff, bro. Like we're barely whales can communicate ultrasonics for up to three miles. Dogs. Uh, and uh, and other animals, they can smell up to three. And even with us, we the things that we take for granted, you 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 never wake up and tell your body to breathe. It breathes by itself. It breathes by itself. Your, uh, your taste buds can identify over fifty thousand different uh, tastes and over seventy thousand different smells, bro. Like, come on, bro. It's, it's, it's this deep. Design? It's deep. This, this brain. Design? The craziest best computer ever. <laughs> <laughs> we got people in here like it's so late and we got 300 well i'm, I'm sure after i end it it'll be like five thousand six thousand people over the course of the last it's like you know, four a.m it's like four a.m in, in, in uk right now four twenty. yo people are like up right now but malik like it'd be things like this that i'd be like man i would like usually i'll be like man i'll rather facetime you and talk about stuff like no nah, but it's good it's good you know what it is <laughs> because it's this this time it's good to have these kind of conversations at like this time because like Trust me, the people that are up watching this, they they need to see it. <laughs> they were up at the right time to see this. This was divine. Bro. <laughs> I mean, the brother, I, they, I, my friends, they know I don't come on live. I don't even I don't even come on live to come and play my music these days. But I will be soon though, bro. And I mean, it's, um, it's like you think about um, just like you know like RNA, right? You have mm. your DNA and then you have your RNA. You think about the configuration. I was yeah. reading an um, uh, article last time and it talked about that the, at, the, at, the central, uh, at the central of any creation, of anything, is a helix structure. Um, so you look at a tornado, they say the best place to be in a tornado is in the middle, right? Not the outsides. Yeah. Um, a tornado, the way that it spins, a helix, our DNA is literally stranded like this as it goes up. That's why they do those animations where it's like spinning. That's how right. it's a helix. Right. Uh, you look at the universe. You look at the you look at the whole galaxy. Yeah. The whole Milky Way. Yeah. You, you see the spiral. Yeah. Everything yeah. comes from that sort of like, and then it, it spreads out. So it really just shows you, like, for me, you know, like. That's why I feel like when I was a kid, I want to be, I wanted to be an astronaut. I wanted to be a scientist. Right. I wanted to be a designer. So I can just show people more of, I would rather believe in the unseen than believe in nothing just to want to explore the unseen. Like, yeah, like to, it just gives you like believing in something gives you, it's like gives you purpose. It gives you some sort of like, you know what I'm saying? You know? That's why people discover, a lot of people, dis and, I, and I, this isn't really like to make this any like religious thing or anything or whatever. It's, it's just spirit. Of course. A lot of people usually find God or something like that when they're at their lowest points. Right. You know right, what I mean? Right. So we, uh, we identify association with God yeah. with a low point or poverty or whatever, whatever. For me, when I was at the highest point in my career, at 23, like, I was watching the video of Jay-Z, like, I put my first album when I was 26. Right. I'm 23 now. I turned 23 last week. I've been yeah. in tech for 10 years. I've been in tech for a decade since I was 13. And I've never been able to be as connected as I am now. Yeah. I don't watch programming books. I don't, I don't, I don't learn how to code anymore. Mm. Everything comes to me when I'm praying. You know, uh, when I need to uh, find something, I study. Like, because, you know, in the in the... In uh, like for example, like in, in the Quran, there's sort of like there's nas, there's uh, falak, there's 
there's so many different things and things that are named at field there's things that are named after animals there's the story of the bees like in the quran it literally says that bees have 16 chromosomes bro yeah, like yeah, yeah, yeah come on bro this is before modern science it talks about so many things and for me when i'm stuck on a solution or something like that i'm like oh that's why when i started getting into variable sound propagation and things that we're working on now yeah i read and when i was younger like you know I memorized like half half of the Quran like in my head, but I read the Apocrypha, I read the Bible, I read the Torah, I read uh, the Lost Books of Enoch. I read pretty much everything yeah, to the see like books of Enoch, uh, bro. You see, listen, we're gonna have a discussion about that. You need we're to look at have, everything. We're gonna have a philosophical discussion about that, bro. And I'm gonna, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm gonna, I'm, 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 gonna, gonna, I'm, gonna I'm gonna tell you some stuff. Yeah. Shout out to shout out to bro D Smoke. About shout out to how, D. About how, shout out to about D Smoke that just joins. How it's all linked up. We're gonna have a we're gonna have a concert. <laughs> because yeah. it's crazy, bro. Uh, listen, yeah. like I said, and this is why I know you know your stuff. I know you know your tech. <laughs> hey, I'm just yeah. <laughs> you know, because you know, because um I, I and I feel like the guys who really like you said, like, you know, like Steve Jobs and people who really like, um, it's like they compute with emotional intelligence too. Mm -hmm. You understand? With empathy too, right? It means that you, you have understanding to the original source of, you know, where the intelligence comes from. Do you get what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. you know, and and you know how to kind of like channel that you know how to use your gift yeah. to make a way for you yeah you and know? it's like giving people the ability to you know discover something it's like when yeah. you're troubled bro when you're troubled you know and as somebody man and i've explored i'm talking depths of spirituality i don't yeah. study everything from like carl Jung. who talk about the anima and the animus and feminine right. and masculine energy right. Right. i studied right. muji right. who talks about uh, the 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 mirror of one's own reflection is is a falsetto. It's not real. Right. I studied Alan Watts and right. how we talked about the singularity of the universe and everything. Right, right. I studied Let's, man, bro, the, no, no. the depths of spirituality. It's not the, <laughs> It ain't the same, bro. It ain't the same. Are you, are you <laughs> mentioned the <data. laughs> You know, like you get to it and then you realize, like, man, my grandfather, like, you know, and I, and I pray every day for him. You know, just when he was here, yeah, he saw everything. Like this man literally said, he's going to be a writer. Yeah, and I was named after Enoch. Rather, you read the Bible or the Quran. The only other person apart from like Jesus that was risen in heaven and da 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 blah blah whatever, given the gift of penmanship. Literally, it's there. You can like look it up right now. And guess what I found? Guess what I found out the other day? Done. Because me and me and Nip, me and Nipsey had this crazy conversation, right? Yeah. Yeah. Nip had told me. He was like, our names are very similar. He never explained it to me. Mm -hmm. He was just like, our names are very similar. If you Google, like, Hermius, his name. Yeah. Like, Hermius. Hermius, it, yeah. It's connected to Hermes Trismegistus. Right. right. And in some scriptures, Enoch is, look it up right now. Enoch is also known as Hermes Trismegistus. Right. <laughs> So, right. like, Nip, Nip would be like, oh, yo, Nip, you know, Nip, our names are very Nip similar. Was, he was clued up. Bro, man, we're like, we could go into a whole conversation about the yeah. things that we t we were talking about. Uh, yeah, and also Thoth, yeah, the, this person that has it right, Thoth. Thoth is also known as Hermes Trismegistus. And a lot of people have concluded that Enoch was also known as Thoth. Like, yeah. you can look it up yeah. right now. Yeah. 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 And yeah. the crazy thing about, like, Nip, you know, are you familiar with the Car Kardashev scale? No. So there was this uh, scientist. His name was, uh, hold on. Uh, let me get the full name. So for anybody watching this, they can like see. Uh, okay. So there was this uh, um, scientist, Soviet scientist, astronomical scientist. Right. He came up with something called the Kardashev scale. His name was Nikolai Kardashev. And the Kardashev scale was basically a scale that he created to measure a civilization's intelligence. Right. And he said, it's not about creating technology. It's not about creating AR. It's not about creating smart glasses that no. determine a civilization's right. Uh, right. advancement. He said, a civilization is as powerful as its ability to harness its own environment. Right. right? So he came up with several uh, uh, different um, 
uh, he came up with so many different uh, sequences. Uh, no, uh, stages. Yeah. So there's yeah. a type one civilization, the type two civilization. The most popular ones are type one civilization, type two, and it's type three. Right. A type one civilization is able to harness the power of its own sun. You can look this up right now. Yeah, yeah. The yeah, part yeah, is your yeah, scale. Yeah, yeah. A type two civilization is able to harness the power of its whole galaxy. And a okay. type three civilization can harness the power of its whole universe. Right. We as humans, in, in his uh, dissertation, uh, if you will, or his white paper, he said that we as humans, we're not even point one of a type one civilization. We, no. No. we, when we create solar panels, we only harness less than like 8%.